this video is the 10th in my 12 Days of Christmas DIY series. If you haven't seen the other videos in my series, you should check those out as well. And in this video, I do a tutorial on crockpot spice nuts like these. I use almonds, you can use different types of nuts if you like, and I put mine in this cute little cellophane bag with a bow. It's a really easy recipe to follow. You do need to be home for a few hours to keep an eye on it, but it's a great, easy DIY gift. For this, you'll need a quarter cup of plain water, three cups whole almonds, a small bowl, a whisk, a wooden spoon, two to three tablespoons of cinnamon, depending on how much spice you want, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one eighth teaspoon regular salt, a large bowl, one and a half cups white sugar, one and a half cups brown sugar, parchment paper, a baking sheet, and an egg white. And to do this step, I usually just crack the whole egg into there, and then grab the yolk out of it, and toss it. And of course, you will need your trusty crock pot. You may also need some cooking spray for your crock pot. I don't use cooking spray, I just save the wrappers from my blocks of butter, and then I rub that all over the inside of the slow cooker to keep it from sticking. Next, you're going to put your vanilla and egg white into that little bowl and then blend it with your whisk until it gets frothy. Alright, that took about 20 seconds and in my other bowl I've got all of my other ingredients ready to go and I'm just going to toss those together. Next, add your almonds to that frothy mixture and turn everything around the bowl thoroughly until it's evenly coated. Next, I'm going to prep my slow cooker. I'm just going to rub this all over the inside so nothing will stick. Now I'm going to dump in the almonds and the cinnamon sugar. And I'm going to stir this until everything is properly coated. Now that that's done, I'm going to turn this on low, and I'll leave those to cook for three to four hours. It just depends on the size of your crock pot. I'm probably going to end up cooking these closer to about three hours, and at the two hour mark, I'm going to add that quarter cup of water that I set aside over here. And I'm going to set my timer and come back in 20 minutes, give it a good stir, and cover it back up, leave it on low, and check it every 20 minutes and stir it until they look like they're just about done. So I did put that extra one quarter cup water into my crock pot and finish it up. These ended up cooking for about four hours, and I added that cup of water about an hour ago. So now they are ready to come out and go on to the parchment paper. And those will probably sit there for a couple of hours until they're completely cooled down and ready to be wrapped up. Can you 